So in other words, you know, and this happened to me, companies that were dependent on software as a service systems that were dependent on AWS uh, had an outage as well uh, because they couldn't, you know, keep keep working as, you know, many called it the internet went down that day. And that's, there, that's not far off what we saw. And if there's any external losses based on that, uh, consequential losses, you're typically not going to be able to recover for them. So not lost reputation, you know, not lost uh, outages, or not lost revenue from your outage because AWS was out. So if your software is a service provider, you built your system on AWS, they're going to have an outage for nine hours. You're also have, going to have an outage for nine hours. You're going to have to uh, absorb the damage from that. That's just the way I think the uh, things are, are, are working right now. They, again, you can certainly you know, talk to an attorney, you know, see what your options are. And you certainly can go negotiate with your cloud computing provider around an outage. And I think everybody should do that, at least have a conversation with them. But typically what I'm seeing out there, you're not going to get cash uh, for the damages that you incurred. And also you're not going to get cash for uh, extraneous stuff, uh, reputation, uh, you know, customers, customers that were harmed, things like that. There was a, just a, a whole cascade of bad things that occurred that day in terms of many services. And, and like I mentioned when I, you know, talked about this last month, that I was just surprised at how far reaching AWS was. It was basically systemic to many major systems and all of those systems ceased to work. And you got to remember, they're providing services for other cloud providers and software as a service providers. So they stopped working.